Now in the last part of this question then, we've got to work out the perimeter of the sector PQRS, the length all the way around the outside. So in order to do that, I first of all got to work out what this arc length is, PSR. And to do that, I need to be familiar with this particular formula for arc length. Now, arc length of a sector, L, okay, is given by arc length equaling a fraction of the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, and the fraction when you're working in radians is the angle theta compared to 2 pi radians for a complete turn of 360 degrees. Remember, 360 degrees in radians is 2 pi, so it's a fraction of the circumference. Now when you're working in radians, what you'll find is that this 2 pi cancels out with that 2 pi, leaving you with just theta r. So when you work in radians, you could cut this formula down to theta r. Okay, so let's use that formula and work out the arc length, the arc length PSR. So we'll start off with arc length PSR equals. Now, I must admit, I'm just going to use this version here rather than theta r just to demonstrate again how it works. Okay, so the angle will be 2 pi over 3 compared with a full turn of 2 pi radians and then it's that this fraction of the circumference of a complete circle. Okay, and that formula would be 2 times pi times the radius which in this example is 6. So you can see the 2 pi cancels out and you've basically got theta times the radius. All right? But you can only use this version if you're working in radians. So working that out, okay, we've got 4 pi. All right? That works out exactly at 4 pi. 4 pi meters. So therefore, the perimeter equals, and we've got 4 pi plus now these two sides, which is going to be another 6 plus 6, in other words 12. And if we work this out on the calculator, what you get is 24.566 and so on. And if we give this now to one decimal place, this would be 24.6 meters. And we'll just put one decimal place in there. Alright, so that brings us now to the end of this question.